Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial on how to do or create a Minecraft server using Verizon Files Network or router. First thing you want to do is go download the Minecraft server software. Minecraft Minecraft.net seems to be like down at the moment, so when it is up, you can download it and go to the tab where it says downloads and then scroll down to where it says multiplayer and download .exe or jar. Now, next thing you want to do is type in the search bar at the top 192.168.1.1.1 and it will bring up this Verizon page and we log in. You put in your um your username and password. Um your Verizon person uh, gives you the, the password himself and if he didn't you can go to Google and put in like uh, default passwords for the Verizon files and you can go look at your router and slash modem model because I have a router slash modem so yeah so I just put in my password and by the way when you do find out the password you can change it to whatever you like cause when I had it, it was a super long password. <laughs> All right, now when you're up to here, you go to your firewall settings. Yes, and then you want to look on the sidebar over here. You should say port forwarding. You go to that. I already have it port forwarded, but I'll erase that so I'll show you exactly what to do. Uh, there we go. Now you want to click new entry and then you want to specify your local host like the computer that's going to be hosting the Minecraft server. So to find out your IP address you go to your run and IP or CMD or short for a command and or command prompt yeah and then you put an IP config IP config and you look for your ethernet Look, you look for your main IP address. Mine is 192.168.1.7. Okay, since that's my IP, you put that in. Dot one dot seven. Then you want to go to your protocols and you put in user defined. So that means you put in your own protocols. So you want to put in TCP, and for both of these, um, you put in single. Alright, 55565 is going to be the, oh actually no, you leave the source port empty and you just put in a destination port, you put in 25565 or whatever port you want to port forward and uh, that's it, the fudge, oh any, oh yeah yeah, you don't put both of them at single, you just put the bottom one at single and the one right here any. Okay, okay. And you put in another new server port and you put in UDP. And you just change the bottom one, like I said earlier. 55565. And okay. Now you have that, you uh, set this the same as incoming port and it's always in this you want to put in when you want it to be open. And that's it. You uh, put OK. <clears throat> this takes a bit. Alright, now apply. Okay. Okay, now you click log out and then you go over to port forward.com. Oh, what the fudge? Port forward.com. Over here, it will say port checkers. And then there's a link right here to download. You download that program once you've downloaded it. I have it here already. Um, Portforward.com, pfconfig, or no, uh, pf port checker, port checker. All right, I put in the 25565, the one I just port forward, and it'll, this program will tell me if it's open. And yes, it says open. If it's not open, then you didn't do it correctly. Okay, and then it says this external IP right there. 
71.180.221.105 you'll have a different one now what you want to do is you want to copy this IP you can go to what what is my IP.com it shows your IP so you copy this you cop yeah yeah you copy that and what the fudge and then you go to to your server properties if you've done it right then you'd what it would look like when you download it is that the Minecraft server would be the only one there when you click it all of these are gonna pop up so this is the world so you got your server properties and you can put in all these settings I don't want to explain it to you <laughs> you leave the server IP and then you keep the server port 25565 because that's what I port forwarded now you start up your server alright it started up now you go to your minecraft and you put in that IP that you copied uh, colon and 25565 there you go start it up is my server not my huge freaking tower and there's a bunch of weird crap there it's very slow because HMOD is not updated so <laughs> and I have to use a standard mod so I'm going to jump off the world yay oh what the fudge and jump off again okay that's it goodbye guys